Okay, Lou Depot back here with a final thought on these tankless hot water heaters. I know we went over the chimney, the smoke pipe having to be piped outside because as the bad air goes out, the good air goes back in. Well, it's important to know that the good air goes back in when it's around oxygen. If you pipe this thing out the front of your house where your driveway is and somebody decides to warm up a car and that exhaust from the car is hitting this suction line where the good air goes back into the tankless hot water heater, you're going to ruin that heater. Besides it being piped outside, it's got to be piped 30 inches high off the grass line for snow. They don't want snow getting so high that it can clog the vent. The rule is 18 inches higher than the anticipated slow snow line. Where in New York, the anticipated snow line is 12 inches. So 18 inches higher than the 12 inches is 30. I'm not sure where you are, but it's about 30 probably. I mean, unless you're in Alaska, you may have to go through the roof. But um, 30 inches high, it cannot be piped out anywhere where there's another exhaust right next to it. It can't even be piped out next to a dryer. If there's a gas dryer going out and you drill a hole right next to it, I think you've got to be like four foot away. Because um, it'll suck that bad exhaust back in. And instead of sucking oxygen in to burn with the gas, as we all know, we took my gas class, natural gas burns in a 10 to 1 mix with pure oxygen. It cannot burn with carbon monoxide in natural gas or carbon dioxide in natural gas. Okay? That'll ruin the system, the unit. So it can only be outside and by itself. Okay, I hope this helps. If you decide to go tankless, I hope this helps because you need to know all this because if it's all sprung on you later, you may be sorry you invested the three or $4,000, whatever it took to do. So um, it's important you know it.